Hello, it's Becca, and welcome to the second half of our homeschool room tour. I'm certainly glad you could join me today, and if you missed the first part, I will link that in the description down below. But I hope you're able to get a lot of inspiration while you're here, whether you're new to homeschool or a seasoned homeschool mom, or just simply one that's interested in how a homeschool room can look like. But I've been homeschooling for 11 years now, and I have four children ages 3, 6, 12, and 14. So everything here is suited for that particular age range. So over here I have my little desk where we keep all types of paper, binders. This is my little teacher bin that has our morning devotional, stapler, sticky notes, highlighters, dry erase markers, things like that. And over here I have a white bin that's filled with a lot of books that my three-year-old can just reach in and grab during the day. There's tracing books, coloring books, matching, sorting, wooden letters, pencil pouches. So this is our finished box and all these books up here I keep at the very top so that way they're not bothered with by the, the young ones. And each child also has their own bin with their main course books in them. got a hands-on human anatomy bin here and by the way I'm still in the process of getting links to all these products that I've collected over many years but in the meantime if there's any particular item or many items that you're interested in then please just go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will definitely get back with you um, with with the information if I have if I have links to them but I'll try my best different bins for crayons, markers, bins for hands-on craft projects, um, and I have so many more things on the top of our shelf. It would be just really difficult to get all that stuff down, but um, I have a bin here where we keep different die pieces. We have fraction cubes, foam fraction pieces that have really come in handy, and I really love the concept of having a child um, have something tactile to go along with their course book so that way the learning has just a little bit more variety and this really helps the child to learn a little better. So I really love the Montessori method so I like to have wooden trays if possible. Not every tray or bin in our room is wooden by any means although it would be really nice to have that. Um, but I have a little DIY paint swatch activity here. A little math box with manipulatives, cars, counting sticks, wooden dice, and this all came from the good and beautiful. Um, I also like learning resources, rainbow resource. Um, like I said, I'm 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 gonna. I'm trying to get all this together, but I wanted to not put out a video just because I didn't have um, all of the links. But I, like I said, just please leave a comment and anything that you're interested in, and I will give all that information to you in the meantime. So, but for the remainder of the video, I'm just going to show little bits and pieces of what we have going on here, and I will show you the other side of the room as well.
you'd like to see more of our homeschool videos, then you can click on the screen in a few seconds. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for stopping by, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.